C sharp is extremely a user friendly language that is so close to the English language. The naming conventions are also so close to human. Therefore, they feel familiar to programmers and are most often straightforward. This is because C Sharp strives to uphold the following principles listed below the regularity principle, the simplicity, and the syntactic consistency principle. This will be the evidence that will be stated to prove the above factor. When comparing both the screenshots taken from a particular programming code, it is far more easier for us to understand what the entire content of this particular code really means. Java also has some strict adherence to conventions. Sometimes this may be at the cost of the readability of the programmer. Most of the times the names are lengthier than that of C Sharp. Therefore, this may take more time for someone to understand. Due to this particular factor, programmers start preferring C Sharp way more than Java. In this particular evidence slot, the above said factor is far more clearly portrayed. Having an idea of the previous evidence that was stated for C Sharp, this particular code inside portrays a little bit more complexity and these particular words that has been employed are way lengthier than the things that are portrayed in C-Sharp. Finally, it's a verdict. C-Sharp is more regular than Java. Thus, the programmers may find C-Sharp to be closer to them. Therefore, it can be said that C-Sharp supports the readability more than Java. Well, ultimately, C-Sharp gets a point. When having a reference to the scoreboard, Related to the event readability, C Sharp is way ahead of Java. So C Sharp leads with a point. The factor discussed will be multiplicity. C Sharp provides many ways to achieve the same goal. The programmer has the privilege to use many paradigms as object oriented or structural. C Sharp even provides access to the C derived structs and the obsolete go to statements of Fortran. The evidence slot portrays the above factor very clearly. This particular code segment explains the way in which individual structs of this particular language itself have been developed to enhance the factor thereby proving the multiplicity of C-Sharp. Let's observe the multiplicity related to Java. Java also provides some multiplicity such as the enhanced for loops for accessing array elements. It also provides other multiplicity features such as compact incrimination. Well at last it's a verdict for multiplicity. C Sharp provides those described features including those features that Java provides. The common features that Java provides is a subset of what C Sharp produces. Hence the scope of C Sharp's multiplicity extends far beyond that of Java. There again C Sharp gets another point. Well coming back to the scoreboard related to the event multiplicity C sharp again scores a point. Well, it ultimately proves that the multiplicity of C sharp is way more than Java. Here, let's talk about the orthogonality. C Sharp provides many features to enforce orthogonality. This comes by means of advanced data structures in the primitives. Some of the outstanding such data structures are data tables, data sets, data grid views. With these features, C Sharp language harnesses a tremendous operational efficiency in terms of storing data. Back in the evidence slot for orthogonality, we could see how a data table is declared in this situation. 
once the entire content of the data table is assigned as the data source for the data grid view we could exactly see the contents in the data table using this particular view let's observe the orthogonality of java java also provides many features to support the orthogonality for example it provides hash maps lists etc but when it comes to the building applications, the only available advanced storage mechanism is JTables. Back in the evidence slot, the particular code frame portrays how a JTable is developed in Java. At last, it's a verdict related to orthogonality. c -sharp provides those described features including those features that the Java provides. The common features that Java provides is a subset of what c -sharp provides but those structures of c -sharp provides are not supplemented by java hence c -sharp gives a bigger support to orthogonality than java does here again c -sharp is way leading to java in the factor of orthogonality back in the school board we clearly stated that c -sharp is way ahead of java into the factor called orthogonality. So C sharp against gains a point and is still in lead. Let us now talk about the writability factor related to both these programming languages. C Sharp provides many application programming interfaces and they allow files to write programs. It provides simplicity by adhering to the regularity principle and provides a substantial expressivity by satisfying the need of multiplicity. Most importantly, to specify the complex functionality, a programmer has to override a few classes, which is extremely easy. Back in the evidence slot, we could see how the bot stated factors are clearly portrayed. Let us observe the writability factor with Java. With Java the program has to adhere to strict naming conventions. It's most complex with its lengthier names. Also overriding methods are more confusing. In terms of application programmer interfaces and the libraries given, Java is satisfactory but it does not provide a comprehensive set of libraries therefore the programmer has to write them by their own in this particular evidence set we could see how the writability of java is proven back in the verdict let us see how the writability of these particular languages have proven themselves strengthier even though java provides some classes for complex operations and provides object-oriented features. The implementation is more complex than in c -sharp, but c -sharp provides easy implementation of those object-oriented features. But putting the entire thing in a nutshell, we could clearly see the writability of these two languages are far more ahead in c -sharp than in Java. So c -sharp again scores a point. When back in the school board, we clearly saw how c -sharp is way ahead of Java into this factor writability. So clearly C sharp obtains a point and C sharp is still in lead. Hello and welcome back. Let's talk about the portability of both these languages. C -sharp is an interpreted language because the code is first compiled to a language called immediate language which is then being interpreted by the dotted runtime. For the development of C -sharp applications, its vendor Microsoft Corporation provides a unique IDE which is Visual Studio. In this environment, C -sharp applications can coexist with other predefined languages such as Visual Basic, F -sharp, J -sharp, C++ and many more. This is called the CLS or the Common Language Specification. Therefore, without any doubt, it can be recognized as highly portable. Let us now observe how the portability is served by Java. 
Java was the first language to introduce the virtual machine environment. Java has its own virtual machine, the JVM. Java code is first compiled to what is known as bytecode, which will then be interpreted by the JVM. Java provides its capability to only the Java language and does not accommodate other languages to run on the JVM, unless there are special variations. But Java also provides a highly powerful tool, the applets, which run on web environments. We're coming back to the verdict related to this particular portability factor. Java provides applets, servlets and JSPs, which runs on web environments. It is only also portable with this particular JVM concept. However, C Sharp is also having a web presence with its ASP.NET ARM. C Sharp is also portable with its runtime environment. .NET runtime. However, C Sharp again overpowers Java in terms of its integration of many languages which provides the cross compatibility. Therefore, C Sharp gets one point and Java scores half of it. At last in the school board related to portability, we clearly show how C Sharp is way ahead. So C Sharp scores one and Java scores half of it. Well again let us observe how the runtime support is being supported by these two particular programming languages. C Sharp provides runtime support in terms of memory management and resource management. This support upholds the automation principle by automating the tedious memory management tasks done by the programs themselves which is always error prone. The component responsible for this task is garbage cleaner. Let us now observe how the runtime is supported by Java. Java also has its runtime support with the memory management scheme. It is also having the garbage cleaner component to release the unused resources to the system. Therefore, Java also maintains the automation principle. Well, then rounding up in the verdict, what we clearly observe is that Java and C Sharp both adhere the runtime component. So, therefore, Java and C Sharp equally get point at this stage. Well then having a look at the scoreboard related to runtime support, C Sharp and Java just contain equal points. Well, finally our assessment is finished. We have categorized and analyzed, contradicted and debated several factors related to these two particular languages. Once done all that, let us go to the final scoreboard to see what our final conclusion is. Well, this is our final scoreboard. Under the events readability, multiplicity, orthogonality, writability, portability, and runtime support, C Sharp is always ahead in comparison to Java. At a glance, we are capable of deducing who the winner is and we have obtained a certain level of understanding on how these two particular languages have successfully faced this particular event that we have been testing in this particular video. It is obvious who the winner is. After concluding ourselves from the information that we gathered, after analyzing all the events related to these two particular programming languages, we know who the winner should be. The winner obviously is C Sharp. The primary intention of this particular video is not to prove that Java is bad or Java is not the most or the best suitable programming language in the entire industry. Java itself is a very important language that plays a most and the most vital part in mobile application development. Our intention is also not to encourage the users not to use Java and then to be implementing only C Sharp applications. What we just did was an analysis related to the tasks that we've been testing. So according to the tasks 
We could clearly see that C sharp is way ahead of Java related to the task we've been checking throughout this particular video. But at last, and not the least, C sharp is always the most preferred language in the entire industry of software engineering.